Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we are going to be checking out something kind of weird, but it is definitely a lot of fun. It is Thor's Hammer, better known as Mjolnir. Uh, so it's it's uh, the superhero from the Avengers, of course. You guys know him, the Marvel guy. He is Thor, and he carries around this really awesome hammer. Uh, so we're going to be checking this out. I have a mock-up weird forest set up there, and it's an interesting build because this is like an earth shattering hammer that you can smash the ground with and it does some really cool things uh, so we are going to be checking that little area out there but we are also going to be moving on over here before we do just to quickly talk about what these wave tables are and get a little more insight into them and how you can make your own as well uh, so how about we get on with this video and check out this really ridiculous creation Alright, so here is the hammer that we are going to be using to smash the earth. As you can see, it is using the Durf Polygon Mod Pack as well as the Durf Mod Pack. Uh, so it's nice and smooth, really sleek. Uh, and it was actually a lot of fun to make. I tried to make it as detailed as I could. Uh, if you know what the real hammer looks like, it is something like this. Uh, so that is what we're going to be using to smash the earth. And this is what we are going to be checking out here that is actually the smash earth. Uh, so before I get into what this is, I'm going to mention, of course, that Scrapman, my boy Scrapman, he made a really cool, or multiple videos actually, using these piston wave tables in very, very interesting ways. His videos were absolutely fun to watch, very unique. I really highly suggest if you want to get some more in-depth wave table stuff, then you go check out his videos and check out his channel because he is the bomb. Uh, so as you can see, we have this repeating wave table, so it's just sending a signal down a logic and timeline here uh, that is basically telling the pistons to go up and down. Uh, so where the wave actually comes from is the delay in the up and down movement in the piston. So there's no uh, there's no controllers here. This is just the actual piston being used on its own means. Uh, and it's all being actioned based off of logic. So in this case here, this is like essentially the, the pure form of the wavetable. It's repeating itself as you can see, uh, and the signal comes back to the beginning and sends it back down the line again. And there's actually a little bit of a gap in between each one. And that's where you get the wave from. Uh, so we can actually just stop this right here. Uh, so as you can see, guys, there is literally just uh, a simple piece of logic here. I'm not too sure what it's called, but it basically just sends the signal back to the switch here, telling it to start over again. So you can see once the timer fills up, it activates this logic block, which tells this one to turn off which then repeats the signal over again. So we can just stop that wavetable. Uh, so what I've done is I've made this type of a wavetable, except I didn't make the signal repeat itself. Uh, so what you end up with is actually a really cool ripple effect. So I'm going to press this switch here, and you can see it sends the signal down the line, but it doesn't come back again. So, and we can turn it off again, like so. Whoops, I'm pressing the wrong thing. As you can see, and once it turns off, it sends the signal back down again, and we can literally do that uh, on our own. So if you wanted to, you could actually physically do the wave yourself in place of the logic, but I figured this would be the best thing to do for the hammer smashing, because it's, it's going to smash the ground, and it's going to send the signal out, and it's really cool. So you know what? Enough talking about these wavetables, they are certainly a lot of fun, and if you guys do have any more ideas on ways that I can use the wavetable, then certainly let me know down in the comments. I'm always open to trying some new things. Uh, so we're going to move away from that, though, and we're going to go underneath the massive hammer. Look at the size of this thing. This is actually pretty big, and uh, it was surprising how big it was, actually. Uh, so we're going to go through the woods here and make our way into the little... Thor's hammer mock-up. So before we do start swinging this massive hammer, let's just kind of get a little idea of what this whole setup is. So this is the hammer. Uh, if we open up the connection tool, you can see here that there are some thrusters. So these thrusters are what is going to drive it over and into the ground. And the entire thing is mounted on some invisible blocks. So if you angle yourself just right, you actually have a really hard time seeing these invisible blocks. But they are there. And as you can see with the connection tool, there are bearings on either side. Side, so it's really securely mounted 
because sometimes things will disconnect themselves from a bearing and cause some major issues. Uh, so the whole thing is going to swing on that and it's going to pivot right here into this open spot. Now, I was thinking of putting some type of piston piece stuff in here, but unfortunately, uh, I didn't want the polygons to get stuck into the ground and then causing all sorts of major issues because uh, this thing is definitely not saved on the lift because it got really laggy really fast. So if I bring up the connection tool, you can see we actually have three tables at the back. So there's one right here that extends out and then there is another one here and this is the third one and then of course we have one on this side here and there is the fifth wave table on the left side of the hammer here uh, so I did want to do some stuff over in this corner as you can see this is mounted to the ground right here and I did want to make some cool like either like some type of like tectonic plate movement but I realized like once you start putting bearings or sorry not bearings but pistons, once you start putting pistons next to each other, uh, the lag starts to become unbearable. So I kind of had to settle for this, uh, but I did end up using the Ikey Vegetation mod to really decorate it all, and it really gives you that soft earth feeling. So I guess there's only one thing left to do, guys, and that's uh, go into this hammer here. So there is an off-color block right here, and that is actually a hidden switch that we can use by pressing our use key. And so here it is inside the hammer. As you can see, there's really not much going on. We do have our buttons up there that we use to uh, activate the thrusters uh, so let's bring up the keys here you can see the three key that is actually just to use the uh, the door switch there remotely and the one and two key are thrusters so there's a lot of power behind these thrusters so I guess let's just do this guys I'm gonna get rid of that and we are gonna smash the earth with Thor's hammer let's do it boom oh yeah now that is extremely satisfying to do. Uh, and it's kind of funny, once we pull the hammer away, it's going to reverse the whole thing. So it's almost like you're pulling the hammer out of the ground and it's sending the ripple back out. Uh, so you can actually use the thrusters, though, to balance the hammer like so. We can actually kind of swing it back and forth and ooh, ooh, wind it up and smash it again. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Uh, so you can see that is the wavetable in action, of course, guys. Um... It's uh, really neat. Uh, it's what we were checking out over there on the other side, of course. So uh, the way it all activates is actually just by one single sensor. So all of these are connected to each other. And there's one single sensor underneath one of them that reads when the hammer comes down. Uh, and it sends the signal out to do the wave. Uh, so you can see, though, that... The, the the vegetation mod really adds to this whole effect. If we just let the hammer rest down again, if you take a closer look at where all those ripples are being sent out and how they're being sent out through the trees, uh, I think that just makes it like a really magical experience here. So something that's kind of funny you can do actually is you can repeatedly smash the ground like this and send out constant ripples through the entire thing. Like you're sending out these massive shock waves. And I mean... This creation is pointless, don't get me wrong, but it's just so much fun. I could I could kind of sit here for quite some time and just continuously smash this Mjolnir Thor's hammer into the ground. Uh, another funny thing actually is if you barely touch the sensor, it sends out like these little mini ripples. So if we can quickly go in, see there they are. You can see there's like these really quick ripples, almost like it's it can tell that you didn't hit the hammer as hard. So, uh, kind of accidental, but I thought it was really cool that it sends these massive ripples out. And I guess it really does give you a sense, actually, I'm gonna reset this hammer. It gives you a really good sense of, like, the sheer size. Uh-oh, I think I just broke the game. Uh-oh, that's not good, I see the green. Can I get myself out of this? I may have just broken this world, and I wanna put it up in the world download. Okay, hold on here, guys. I am gonna fix this because I want this up for download for you guys, so let's try our best to get out of here and fix this. Alright, so this lag is really bad. I've got the lift here. I'm gonna try my best to fix this, and this is why I did not put this concrete down in the pit there where the hammer lands, because I knew this was gonna happen, and of course I just had to do it in the opposite direction where I didn't expect it to happen, but of course it would happen. So, here we go, 1 FPS. I hope this fixes it, because I want to get this world download out to you guys. Alright, here we go. Mono of Truth. It's going through. It's pushing. It's not... Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna have to delete this, I guess. I'm just scared I'm gonna miss. Alright. Let's see. Like that? Is that fixed? 
let's okay oh the fps is back i might you know what guys i'm just gonna leave that area blank there is that is that good no all right here we go so uh obviously it's extremely important guys that you uh don't go too hard on the thrusters uh, i am using the modded thrusters so they are a little more powerful okay there we go so now the hammer is resting that's what i should have done originally uh, so that is all fixed up, which is actually really good, because that means I will have the world download out in the description for you guys. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, have some fun with this rather interesting build. Of course, like I did mention, if you do want to give me some suggestions for more wavetable kind of stuff, then let me know down in the comments. Uh, so just a quick recap, we do have this really nifty repeating wavetable, and then of course that is the, the single shot there for the ripple. Got the really awesome Mjolnir hammer that Thor uses in the Avengers and all that cool stuff. Uh, so, random build, I do know, but I think it was a lot of fun. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this scrap mechanic creation. If you did, or if you enjoyed the video, then let me know by leaving a like or letting me know in the comments as well. Uh, so, if you guys do want more endless scrap mechanic, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications as well, so you can get all sorts of latest, craziest, most randomness scrap mechanic creations that I can come up with. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in, everybody, and I'll be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.